Welcome to this year's Innovation Preview at Oshkosh with Trig Avionics. Trig Avionics makes smart, affordable and future-proof products with you, the general aviation pilot, in mind. With over 300 approved dealers in North America and a Trig US Service Center, we offer great support and the best warranty in the industry. With 2020 just around the corner, most pilots want to become ADSB compliant with a minimum of fuss and expense. Trig can save you time and money with our retrofit transponders. Do you fly with a KT-76A, KT-76C or KT-78A transponder? If you do, then Trig's TT-31 transponder can be installed straight into your existing tray. With the tray wiring reconfigured, ground air determination installed and a GPS input added this will give you ADS-B out. The transponder uses your existing wiring and existing antenna, so Trig cuts the cost of installation, saving you hundreds of dollars. ADS-B out requires a compliant position source. With our TT31, you can use Garmin's popular GNS or GTN WAS navigator or a Trig TN70 unit. Finally, Trig has a free FAA STC covering 650 aircraft types. Using the GPS equipment options we've described, you can be 2020 compliant sooner than you ever imagined. If you're a light sport or glider pilot, don't feel left out. Trig has a compact transponder called the TT22. This is a class one ADS-B out device with a free ADS-B STC that covers over 576 aircraft types. Now available, our TN72 is a low-cost certified GPS position source where ADS-B equipage is voluntary. It's fantastic value and has a matching GPS antenna called the TA70. Do you ever feel frustrated with your communications? Become a confident communicator with a Trig radio. Our compact TY91 radio is certified and highly capable with features that make it faster to tune and easier to use. It even has a built-in two-place intercom. Trig's TY96 stack radio is only 1.3 inches tall and saves valuable stack space. Its slimline design with no cooling fans means it's easier and cheaper to accommodate in an old stack with a clear, bright display, a simple user interface, it includes a built-in stereo two-place intercom, dual watch, and a database of over 200 frequencies that you can upload via USB. Push Steps provides faster tuning, and Say Again allows the replay of the last transmission, a very popular feature. Now available is a TY96A, this is a 25 kilohertz only version with all the same core features as the TY96, but at a lower price. Finally, our TMA45 and TMA44 dual com, dual NAV and fully featured audio panels will complement your stack. Each has a built-in intercom and marker beacon receiver. The TMA45 has additional entertainment features and Bluetooth wireless support for music and mobile devices. Look on the Trig website to find out the location of your nearest approved Trig dealer. Visit Trig at Oshkosh at AirVenture in Hall C. Trig, where innovation, quality and value really stack up.
I'm Mike Koblick, President of ElectroAir. I travel all over the country speaking with aircraft owner groups and at IA symposiums about the virtues of ElectroAir's electronic ignition system. And before you ask, yes, it is certified. Please join me for the next few minutes and see this snapshot of ElectroAir and the ElectroAir electronic ignition system. We've been manufacturing electronic ignition systems since 1992. We started life producing air, uh, systems for experimental aircraft. The original founder of ElectroAir, a gentleman by the name of Jeff Rose, uh, was a big home builder. He built a number of long easies, very easy in the kit box, and decided one day in the late 80s, early 90s, that he was going to put on an electronic ignition system on his home build. See what he got on and hence was born the company ElectroWare. We are approved. We are a fully certified electronic ignition system. We are approved as a single magneto replacement. In other words, you replace one magneto, you leave one magneto behind. You get asked the question all the time, why just a single magneto replacement? There's a number of reasons for that. First, if you look at a scale from 0 to 100, 0 being 2 magnetos and 100 being 2 electronic ignition systems, you get about 85% of the way there with that first electronic ignition system. You get what I call the wow effect, the big pickup in fuel economy, the smoother running engine, the easier starter, the more power, the more capability of take up, all that, with that very first electronic ignition system. Uh, we are approved at a little over 400 aircraft models. Takeoff as, he's, as we were headed back to Pontiac, I said, I want you to take the throttles, pretend like you're Tom Cruise, and just stuff. No, no, no. The airplane will not like that one bit. It'll growl and cough and sputter and everything else. I said, we've got plenty of runway, do it. Walk through the plane. Takes the throttles, all the way to the stops. We get shoved back into our seat, that airplane just spins up power just as smooth as can be, and we rotate off. And 300 feet, Zeke looks at me and he says, I have never done that in this airplane before. That is so cool. That is so cool. We are a distributorless ignition system. In other words, we're a coil path firing directly into the spark plugs. So there's no distributor to rob energy from in terms of what's coming out of the coil. Your fuel settings, well, the magnetos aren't going to save you any gas. <laughs> The system is designed to be installed on legacy airplanes, and the installation manual is written such that an IA can install it based on the airplane that he's seen. The fact of the matter is that there's no two airplanes out there that are alike. They've been modified and changed and so on and so forth. And then the Comanches, of course, being even older airplanes, they've been modified. Everybody, any further questions, please see me out in the meeting. I would look forward to it. Thank you again.
For over three years, Evolution has been developing its software-based avionics platform called XFS. Unlike most vendors who want to lock you into their own brand of products, our deeply modular system allows integration of sensors, radios, transponders, and other devices from a variety of companies. For the technology geeks out there, XFS supports a variety of physical interfaces like Ethernet, CAN bus, RS-232, RS-422, RS-485, Airing 429, raw analog, and digital data. For everyone else, all you need to know is that XFS is designed to be able to connect to virtually any other vendor's product who chooses to make their specifications available. Avolution also licenses its software to other companies, like Agilus Avionics, to use in their own products, allowing more people to take advantage of the technology than just those served directly by our product line. While Avolution has previously focused on demonstrating two and three screen solutions, this year at Oshkosh we are presenting our technology in an exciting new form factor, the Unpanel which is being debuted in the Zenith Stoll C8750 Super Duty, which is also being unveiled at AirVenture this year. The Unpanel makes a dramatic departure from existing 7-inch or 10-inch avionics screens and instead provides an enormous 17-inch display with large, easy-to-read instruments, no reading glasses needed, specifically tailored to the needs of the VFR pilot and the light aircraft. The Unpanel prioritizes highly relevant information such as angle of attack, airspeed, altitude, and fuel at the top of the instrument panel where it's easy to see. For most VFR pilots who don't feel a strong need for redundancy, or whose redundancy needs are met by mobile applications like Droid DFB and ForeFlight, the powerful display can replace every other instrument in the aircraft, allowing for the elimination of the entire conventional panel leading to a substantial reconfiguration of the cockpit that opens up mountains of space and greatly enhances visibility. For those wishing to have more redundancy, a second display option is also available. We expect to ship the Unpanel at the end of this year for the Zenith CH750 Super Duty at a price of $11,995 as an all-inclusive kit which will bundle a GPS, comm radio, an antenna, audio panel, mode C transponder, ADSB in and out, Adahars, engine DAC, and a convenient drop in wiring harness. Our kit also includes a Wi Fi transceiver that a pilot can connect to their aircraft to allow Evolution to perform remote diagnostic and upgrades if needed. Come visit us at Booth 417 at AirVenture this year. Let's see what we've been up to. Since 2001, MGL Avionics has produced avionics for experimental and light sport aircraft. The flagship product is the IEFIS, a comprehensive next-generation flight, engine, and navigation instrument designed to meet the demands of the modern pilot. See more at www.mglavionics.com. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B-Models. The B-Models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Are you stall smart? Ever since Orville and Wilbur took to the skies, pilots have been taught that the more airspeed you have, the better off you are. But over the last 100 plus years, we've learned that's not always the case. Take stalls for example. The common belief is that if you have sufficient airspeed, the aircraft won't stall. 
The fact is, an airfoil always stalls at the same critical angle of attack in relation to the relative airflow, regardless of airspeed, configuration, or weight. Learn more at aspenavionics.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. The Bristel Light Sport aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Renbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Renbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Weather is the most deadly of all major causes of general aviation accidents. Studies show that winds contribute to hundreds of accidents per year in the U.S. alone. Most accidents occur during landings and takeoffs. Yet, the majority of small and private airports don't have an automated weather reporting system. Why not? Typical airport weather systems are expensive, costing tens of thousands of dollars to buy and install and thousands more every year to maintain. It is difficult or impossible for small and private airports to get financial support for an automated weather system. So they remain without an automated weather reporting system. Weather can change in a matter of minutes or miles, so having real-time weather advisories at your airport is crucial. Sayweather is here to change general aviation weather reporting. Sayweather is an affordable AWOS alternative for your airport. Its innovative design leverages robust, reliable, and easy to install technology to deliver the first truly affordable automated weather advisory reporter. Sayweather uses mature industrial weather stations from industry leader Davis Instruments to measure real-time weather at your airport. The station accurately measures temperature, dew point, wind direction, wind speed, gusts, and altimeter settings. The commercial grade weather station is wirelessly connected, solar powered, and easy to install and maintain. Its data is wirelessly transmitted to a display console up to a thousand feet from the weather sensors. Longer ranges exceeding a mile are possible using repeaters. The Sayweather console retrieves this weather information, performs quality control, and computes the density altitude. To get a weather advisory, the pilots key their mic four times on the Unicom frequency. An attached radio transceiver receives the key clicks. The Sayweather console decodes the clicks, checks for radio clear, and speaks a brief and up to the second weather advisory over the VHF to the pilot. Airport automated advisory, wind 0, 6, 0 at 1, 1 knots with gusts to 1, 6, temperature 2, 5 Celsius, 2.17 Celsius. Altimeter 2, 9er, 9er, 4, density altitude 2,300 over. Typical range is 10 nautical miles at pattern altitude, with a range of 30 nautical miles or more for aircraft operating at higher altitudes. This Unicom based weather advisory minimizes distraction and improves the pilot's situational awareness in the cockpit as the pilot does not have to change the radio frequency to a distant AWOS, peer down at a windsock, or look for other visual cues about the local weather. Sayweather can also publish the weather information via Wi-Fi and the internet to Weather Underground. It also provides the airport operator an historical weather archive and keeps a tally of the number of weather requests throughout the day. The FCC's Federal Code of Regulations addresses automated unicoms at airports. Sayweather complies with these requirements. The optional lighting control provides pilot-activated lighting for your airport. 
with an innovative audio acknowledgement feature. Airport lights acknowledged. It can also be programmed to turn on relative to sunrise and sunset, automatically adjusting for varying daylight hours throughout the year. A say weather can be installed for a tenth the cost of other systems. Maintenance is minimal and affordable. Connect 6, the maker of say weather, will be demonstrating say weather in Hangar D, booth 4145. Stop by to take advantage of their 2017 Air Venture Special of free publish weather to the internet option on the basic say weather system or $500 off a pro system. While you're visiting, enter your airport for a chance to win a free Davis Vantage View weather station or an additional $500 off a say weather system. ForeFlight customers can now add Jeppesen's industry-leading charts and associated documents to their subscription with a simple online purchase, then download and view those charts in ForeFlight. Once downloaded, the new charts will become available in all the places in the app where you can access charts, such as the Plates view, the Airports view, and the Maps view. Jeppesen charts appear at the top of the procedures list for airports included in your coverage, while the FAA charts are still accessible further down the list if you wish to view them. Jeppesen charts will also become the default for scenarios where ForeFlight displays a chart automatically, such as when viewing an airport's taxi diagram, overlaying an approach plate using Procedure Advisor, or automatically displaying the taxi diagram upon landing at an airport. Adding Jeppesen chart coverages also gives you access to the airway manuals for each coverage. You can find and download them in the Documents catalog, in the Jeppesen tab on the left. With a simple online purchase, it's easy to add Jeppesen's high-quality charts to the industry's leading electronic flight bag app. When combined with ForeFlight, ADSB in capabilities make flying safer and have led to a meaningful reduction in weather-related incidents and accidents. We think all pilots should have the opportunity to fly with these benefits, which is why ForeFlight is pleased to introduce Scout, the most affordable and smallest off-the-shelf ADSB in solution on the market. We teamed up with avionics innovator UAvionics to build this dual-band ADS-B receiver for the display of weather and traffic in ForeFlight. Small enough to fit in your shirt pocket and affordable for pilots on a budget, Scout promotes better situational awareness and better decision-making in flight. The integrated Wi-Fi module allows for over-the-air firmware updates right inside the app and can connect to up to four devices at a time supporting ForeFlight's cockpit sharing feature for transferring flight plans to other devices running ForeFlight. Getting started with Scout is incredibly easy. Attach it to a window, plug it into any 5-volt USB power source, and go fly. With its elegant form factor and ease of use, combined with ForeFlight's powerful software, Scout is a compelling dual-band ADS-B solution for pilots who want to fly with this essential safety-enhancing capability.
Today we're going to demonstrate the TrueTrack Vision Autopilot in a Cessna 172. Now that we are at a comfortable cruising altitude, let's engage the autopilot by pressing the knob. Let's enter altitude select with a click of the ALT button. We'll select our desired altitude as well as our desired vertical speed and then we'll enter all that with a click of the knob. Now the autopilot is in track select and altitude select. While we transition to the selected altitude, let's go over some of the features of the Vision Autopilot system. The Vision Autopilot has track select, GPS nav, control wheel steering, altitude hold, altitude select, and several other features as well. To disconnect the autopilot, click the control wheel steering button. If equipped with the optional audio alerter, it will sound three beeps. Let's go ahead and engage the autopilot again with a click of the knob and we'll go straight to altitude hold. Now we're in track select and altitude hold. Let's select a new desired track. And so that no one gets bored with this turn, we're going to speed things up here just a little bit. Now once we complete the turn, we'll slow things back down to a normal speed. Okay, we have a flight plan in our handheld GPS. Let's follow it with a click of the mode button. The autopilot will now turn to intercept the course line and follow the flight plan. And to keep it interesting during the turn, let's speed things up. Once we finish this turn and roll out on the course line, we'll follow up the GPS nav with a control wheel steering demonstration. Press and hold the control wheel steering button and you'll notice the screen of the autopilot shows CWS. Now we can manually fly the aircraft to a new desired track. Once we release the control wheel steering button, the autopilot will synchronize to the current track and current vertical speed. Now let's take a look at the minimum airspeed safety mode. Let's select a vertical speed that is incredibly high for this Cessna 172. Let's select around 2,000 feet per minute. Notice the airspeed indicator on the left hand side of the panel. It will continue to decrease until the autopilot hits minimum airspeed. Again, you'll hear the audio alerter as well as the screen will show min AS. Okay, with the autopilot disengaged, let's roll the aircraft to an unusual attitude. We'll push the emergency level button and let the autopilot recover. This emergency level mode selects zero bank and zero vertical speed. Since we have a panel mount GPS in this aircraft with a flight plan already programmed, let's follow it using GPS steering. While we're in GPSS, let's descend to a selected altitude. So like before, we enter altitude select with a press of the ALT button, then we entered our desired altitude and our desired vertical speed. Thanks for hanging out with us today and learning a little bit more about the Vision Autopilot. We'll catch you next time. class, this is Ananda Leon. I'm the general manager at Level Aviation um, and today I want to explain the beacon and why we invented it, designed it and are planning to release it uh, at the EAA Oscosh this year. So beacon is a 978UAT universal access transmitter for experimentals in LSA and basically allows you to send your location to other airplanes and uh, the ground towers um, so that you know where you are. You are supposed to be complying by 2020 and ADSB because of the complexity and the cost associated with installing these systems, um, pilots are delaying the decision to purchase and install the equipment and what happens is there's so many airplanes out there that are not equipped with ADS-B um, that aviation has a problem right now because we think we are not going to be able to uh, to have all those airplanes equipped by 2020. So that's why the reason of the beacon. Uh, it's a simple, very easy to install system. So basically we integrated all into a, uh, an antenna. All the hardware and antenna is here. So your, let's start with your GPS. The GPS is located inside, so we eliminated one system. You still have to have your GPS antenna on the top of the airplane. Then you have your pressure altitude. There's um, 
a pressure transducer located inside and a static source on the antenna. So basically this will be, let's say this is the bottom or the belly of your, of your airplane and then you have your beacon here, <clears throat> maybe you have your transponder antenna sending your squat code to the ground. Um, we have a sniffer inside which is a 1090 megahertz receiver to decode the squat code that you're sending. So there's no need to wire your transponder. We basically do it wirelessly. wirelessly. Uh, so no transponder and then the antenna, everything is in the antenna. So you eliminate one more system. So very simple, you basically put this and by installing your antenna, you install your, um, your EDSB out solution. So if you're flying into controlled airspace, and you, you build your airplane or you have an experimental or light support airplane and you're trying to get with the 2020 but you don't have the means to spend you know five thousand dollars on an ADSB out solution uh, the beacon is the solution for for the future. Hey guys, thank you for coming to my class. Today we're going to learn about our new invention, the bomb. So it's a patent pending and the bomb basically it's an all-in-one solution for your avionics. Uh, we like to say avionics reimagined because we made it simpler, uh, more affordable and easier to install. So if you look at a cockpit right now, your six pack information right here. You have airspeed altitude VSI, turn coordinator, your horizon, and your heading. Um, if any one of these were to malfunction, what do you do? So we decided okay, what if we mount um, a pod outside remotely where we have access to the, to the airspeed and we have a static source? And from this, the, the idea of the bomb. Uh, was born and it turned out into an amazing device. It's not just a pedostatic backup. Right now if you were to install an angle of attack which gives you um, very accurate information of when you're gonna stall your airplane which is key when you're flying. If you were to do that right now the installation um, costs are high. You have to put the wires, you have to put the hoses, you have to put a gauge on your on your panel. So it's not an easy process. By having the bomb, having all this system, having an AOA and putting a Wi-Fi transmitter, you can send all of this information to an iPad or an Android tablet and have that available without putting a single wire. And then on top of that, because it's outside, it's the perfect platform to add more stuff like your GPS, for example. An ADSV in outside air temperature, we have G meter and, and so on. And to be able to make this possible without any wires, we put a little turbine on the back. So this turbine basically is getting the air. Um, you're flying fast, it's turning the turbine, the turbine recharges the battery that's inside and powers itself. So why is the bomb important? Uh, basically it's an innovative design that allows you to have a complete backup of all your instrumentation. It allows you to add AOA which the FAA is pushing. Um, if you are a builder, this is a awesome way to have that airplane ready to go as far as a redundant system without having to break the bank and um, that's it. The Aero News Network is pleased to offer the first in a series of special aviation news programming initiatives via a partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, 
one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. The AMA partnership has special significance to many in the ANN news crew. Quote, AMA has been a part of my aviation life since I was in grade school and an early RC modeler. This organization helped me start my aviation career, and I couldn't be more pleased or proud to work alongside them now, many decades later, noted ANN CEO and Editor-in-Chief Jim Campbell. AMA, founded in 1936, serves as the nation's collective voice for hundreds of thousands of modelers and drone enthusiasts who fly for recreation, competitive, and educational purposes. AMA also sanctions more than 1,000 model competitions and an increasing number of non-competitive fly-in events each year, as well as provide liability insurance and flying sites. AMA certifies official model flying records and with AUVSI is a founder of the Know Before You Fly program that advocates responsible drone operation. Quote, we are thrilled to join with Airborne to help tell the story of the growing model aviation and drone community, said Dave Mathewson, executive director of the AMA. We look forward to sharing important education, competition, and safety programming with a broader industry. Manufacturers, personnel, educators, and companies working in the hobby drone world are encouraged to reach out to ANN in order to introduce themselves and learn more about the AMA Drone Report effort by emailing jim at news.net or calling our offices at 863-299-8680. Episodes of AMA Drone Report may be most directly viewed via amadronereport.com. We look forward to working with the entire hobby drone community through our airborne efforts.